My background is uh, I'm a pharmacist. I started off uh, training as a pharmacist, then worked as a clinical pharmacist in a hospital for two years, and then realized that I have interest in research, and so branched off to, to get into health systems research, specifically uh, into health economics research. So my current research uh, focuses on uh, priority setting in hospitals. So essentially what, uh, what I'm looking at is how hospitals decide on uh, healthcare priorities and how they allocate the resources that they have to the different competing priorities around the hospitals. So looking at uh, how they go about making decisions about what resources go to which departments, what resources go to which uh, services, and uh, how much, you know, in terms of uh, looking at the relative importance of the different uh, competing priorities. This is a very important area of study uh, in uh, health systems in developing countries and uh, globally, because when you look at uh, the resources that, are, that a country has, the, the budget that a country has, about 50% of the budget actually goes to hospitals. And so it's very important uh, for a health system to think very carefully about how this uh, large chunk of resources that they allocate to hospitals is actually spent because hospitals are avenues for delivering very important interventions in a, in a, in a country, and they consume the bulk of, uh, of resources in the country, and so it's very important that the resources the hospitals consume are actually used well. And so I, that's why I find that uh, thinking about how the resources that go into hospitals are allocated becomes a very important topic. The methods that I use in my area of research is primarily qualitative. So looking at, uh, it's, it's primarily qualitative, looking at uh, describing exactly what happens, examining what, uh, exa examining what happens in these hospitals and trying to draw relationships between uh, what is observed and what is examined. The interesting thing about uh, what I am doing currently is that I have, uh, I've, I've, I've come to find that hospitals, in, in, in as much as hospitals are supposed to be public facilities, uh, providing services uh, in a non-for-profit uh, using an unfor-profit model, what is happening actually in our hospitals currently is that uh, because hospitals depend a lot on the user fees that they collect from, uh, from, from patients, then when the managers think about which places to place higher priority, they focus a lot on the areas that generate the most revenue. And so in essence, the hospitals have been turned into profit-maximizing organizations. And the problem with that is that then you get uh, departments or services that do not uh, or services that do not generate a lot of user fees and so managers tend to overlook these departments and that creates a lot of inequalities because you you end up having certain services favored and other services uh, skipped over so far what, what what i can say is that the area of health systems research in developing countries is still a young and growing field and so not a lot of work has been done uh, in, uh, in health systems research in general, and specifically uh, looking at uh, uh, examining priority setting at, you know, at the hospital level, at the institutional level in the healthcare system, very little has been done. Uh, but what you're doing as a research group is not just uh, doing the research, but also trying to engage policymakers. And in that way, we're beginning to get policymakers thinking very critically about the hospitals that are being run. So very hopeful that uh, the work that we are, we are doing will eventually make an impact. What I would like to tell young people about uh, venturing into health systems research is uh, it's, it's very important that they choose uh, an, an area that they have passion for. It's very important that they choose an area that they have passion for and uh, an area that they, they have a lot of interest in it because it takes time to, to build competencies to do the research. And the only way that you can survive in, in research is if you're uh, keenly interested in what you're doing.